Is on tonight for a group of suspects caught on camera armed with semi-automatic rifles. Kimberly Davis is live at 35th District Police on where this group was caught on camera and what they were doing. Kimberly? Jess, the video is disturbing and some parents are just seeing that video today. We spoke with one parent who did not want to be on camera, but he tells us this will be his six-year-old daughter's last week at the program. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is the surveillance video that left one mother in shock. A group of suspects who police believe are carrying semi automatic rifles inside and outside of Sturgis Recreation Center in East Oak Lane. I was told that there was like spray paint outside the building, but that's about it. But they left out the rifles part. Yes. According to police, a woman was able to get into the building around 1130 Thursday morning. Shortly after, several others showed up in a white minivan and dark colored car. Police believe they may have been shooting a music video, but parents are still taken aback. I, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> Wow, that's super scary. The group remained on the property for about two hours. They left right around the time the recreation center was scheduled to open. One parent who watched the video says her second grader will continue to attend the after school program. We've been going since kindergarten, so about three years. It's pretty safe here. So this incident, I don't know what happened but everybody was pretty shooken up. Police say it's unclear if the semi-automatic weapons are real, and that's something they are hoping to get to the bottom of. They got cameras everywhere, so that's the good part. Police tell us some of that video was even shot on the playground with the weapons. Contact police if you have any information that could help. We're live outside of the 35th Police District. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you.